This is the Nike Zagama trail shoe. You can use it for road. Zoom X, it feels like an Ultra X Nike collab. I rate it. I definitely rate this shoe. This is be one of the all-time Nike running shoes, walking shoes, all down your feet shoes out there. Zagama, I'm not a real fan of the look of it personally, but the comfort, damn. It's up there for sure. Zagama Trail, so I get these for, let's say 63, 68 dollars Aussie, and they sell brand new. I'd buy them brand new, I'd get them direct from Nike, and they sell for around 160 USD up to. I sell them a lot cheaper than that, because I'm the deals man, and that is why I make, you know, a lot of money, or have made a lot of money, <coughs> selling shoes, selling genuine Nike shoes. Uh, it's about, you know, I, I remember I used to watch these guys on Instagram and that, and they're like, you know, and I, myself, I've been a shoe flipper since 1994. And I see these guys saying, yeah, I'm making, I made a meal last year. I was like, a meal? Like, damn, like, I'm not sure about that. So I thought, uh, I'm going to give it a, I'm gonna give it a bit, bit of a dig, a bit of a hit, a bit of a kick, a bit of a peck. And, uh, and yeah, definitely a million dollars USD in a year. That's full on, but that's definitely realistic once you get the flow going. Uh, for me, it's more around $400,000 Aussie a year, which is a lot less than a million dollars USD. But I'm walking away from that. Or, you know, shuffling away from that uh, lifestyle because to make that much money uh, doesn't change the quality of my life but the time to make that much revenue to make four hundred thousand or hundred and a thousand dollars profit a day in shoe land is very very easy all right once you know how but it does chew up some amount of time and as much as I love shoes and I always will sell shoes I'm just choosing to downgrade a lot uh, to be more of a low-key seller <laughs> but once you get going in shoe land you become like Heisenberg in Breaking Bad your reputation gets out there give them your best service you give them the best price in the world and then word gets out it percolates around and I'm getting messages like every 20 minutes boom you got this you got this you got this meet me now I got this I'll, be, I'll pay extra drop it off like this is, yeah yeah basically a, a shoe dealer a drug dealer for shoe shoe lovers and it's pretty cool but yeah it, it does uh it does chew up more of my time than i uh i want you know at this point in my life so I've, i'll just give it a dig a good hard kick for a while and i did that and i'm really happy with that and i appreciate all my customers who were supporting me along the way but i'm a stepping down stepping back uh not because i don't like it it's just i don't need the money and I would rather, I feel a bit guilty. There are, I think one reason I was going so extreme with the shoe thing is like, no one else is doing this, you know? Like, I, I walk into the shops and I'm like, man, like, why isn't anyone buying these alpha flies? Why am I, you know what I mean? Why am I spending $5,000 a day at this shop and no one else is? I'm just like, what? You know, so I train up a few other people to do it and they, they made some, some good profits on that. But then, you know, life gets in the way, think, you know, or people shift or just, you know, it's just whatever is what it is but uh yeah but anyway the take home message this video is you got to do what you love doing i love shoes man i love shoes so much i can do this from 5 a.m till 11 p.m at night you know but that is chewing up my other things in my life that i also love doing so, so it's about finding the balance in your life but i see people out there working jobs they hate and i'm just like fuck seriously bro like I, I wake up and I am stoked to do all the jobs that I do. Uh, everything in my life I'm stoked to do. I could not imagine the, the day where people wake up and look at the time and go, fuck, an hour to start work, fuck, you know? Or they're running late and they're like, oh, fucking running late. Wish the bus would break down. Or the train breaks down, I'm like, yes, I have to be at work in the next hour, fucking earth. Get back to scroll on Instagram. Like, what? Well, come on, people, all right? Fuck, man. Do your dream job. I love shoes. I love bikes. I love doing the YouTube stuff. I love coaching people. Coaching people, that's my highest calling. I just look around. I see so many people in pain. I see people fat, sick, when they don't have to be because they're following narratives. They're following marketing shit. They're following TikTok bullshit. They're following Peter Atia and Andrew Human's diet advice and stuff like that. And Robert Lustig and Jamie Oliver and all the people that get pushed out there by the matrix 
the following Andrew Tate's diet advice. Uh, and all their diet advice is all the same, isn't it? It's all the same. The end goal to make you fat, sick, fucking broke, and wasting your time. So, so that's my calling. That's why I'm spending more time doing is coaching people. Because that is, that's my highest calling for sure. And that's the thing I, I do enjoy the most. You know. Shoes, I love. Uh, and I still have a you know, fingertip in it for sure because I love shoes. Who doesn't love shoes? Who doesn't love shoes? You know what I mean? Who doesn't love shoes? Even some of my customers are quadriplegics, paraplegics. They still love shoes like I do. You know what I mean? Just the shoes is like wearable art. So, and then you have some of the stuff that has the technology in it that makes you feel really good. The shoes, you know, whether you're a quadriplegic and you're rocking a pair of Jordan 5s and you're like, I love that look. Awesome. To the person who's doing, you know, all down their feet at retail, wearing a pair of Zagamas, Zagamas, awesome, you know? Like, shoes is something for everyone out there. Something for everyone out there. Uh, and I, I do all the brands, Hocker, Outra, Nike, Reebok, Asics, Adidas. It's just, it's, it's crazy today in 2024, the opportunities for the shoe flipper out there. It's just nuts. Like, you know, you want to make 400,000 USD a year, a million a year, 50 a year, whatever you want. Like, that's the reality, man. Like, I don't think people understand how much money is in footwear. Footwear and fashion, clothing, but mostly footwear is the biggest earner for anybody to do ever do. People say, oh, no, no, OnlyFans. No, no, OnlyFans. Like, <clears throat> I do OnlyFans and stuff. But to be successful on that, you have to have an audience already rolling. And that takes years to get the audience. Unless you're like, hot tur girl, you know? And some bro gives you the mad shout out, you know? But, you know, that's really unlikely. Gonna happen. So shoes is number one. Like nothing comes close to shoes in terms of legal, clean money, profits, shoes. Everybody loves shoes. Everyone loves shoes. Who doesn't love shoes, all right? Who doesn't love shoes, man? Who doesn't love shoes? Everybody loves sugar and shoes, regardless of what they tell you. Everyone loves sugar, everyone loves shoes, okay? Who wants so they don't, but they're lying. <laughs> so that's just where the, uh, yeah, so people out there, you're doing these jobs to try and make cash. And I'm like, okay, if you love it, do it. You know, people, take a message. You gotta do what you love, all right? Life is too short. I can't spend 30 seconds, 15 seconds, doing anything I don't like to do. That's, that's where I'm at in my life. That's the lifestyle I've created. Your life, your choice, okay? We all have a choice. We all have a choice. Now, if you live in a South Sudan refugee camp, the choices are a lot smaller. But even still, we have examples of people breaking free and making it happen. So, but yeah, it is crazy, the money in shoes. All right, and if you want to get into it, if you want to get in, join my coaching group, uh, doingrod.com. I am the shoe guy, all right? And <laughs> you can learn from my, what is it? How many years is that? 1994 or oh, 30 years three decades i can do maths 94 to 2024 it's 30 years three decades in the industry all right so yeah you learn from the best um and i'm not a gatekeeper okay i tell all the secrets some people out there coaching people and i'm like hang on you left out the real good parts you know i tell everyone I, I, i'm like boom this is the platter of all the secrets do what you want with it i don't never hold back when it comes to giving advice that actually works. Now, yeah, it's a little rant. Thanks for listening. Shoe land. If you're dead broke and you want to become fucking minted and you like shoes, hit me up.